Well, any school kid can tell you that recess is fun, but it's more than just a chance to get it out of class and run around. It's also important for a child's mental health. So much so, a new law takes effect in Washington this fall, mandating at least 30 minutes of recess time for kids K through five. In our ongoing series, Helping Kids in Crisis, we dive into the importance of this favorite part of the school day. Heads are down, dividers are up, and these fourth graders are diligently working with the occasional glance at the clock. Do you know what time it is right now? Uh, 11.31. So oh, recess okay. is in four minutes. Finally, it's time to line up, high five. Have a good recess, have a good Hi. recess. And let loose. It's no surprise that kids love recess. If there was no recess ever, that would be horrible for me. But doctors and state lawmakers apparently love it too for the physical and mental health benefits. If I didn't have recess, I'd be sad because I'd just be sitting in the class like doing math, reading, and like writing all day. And that's like boring if I don't get any breaks. I would feel tortured. What do you mean, why, why tortured? Because if I have no breaks, then I'll be sitting in class hyperactive with trying to focus, which not my thing. Starting this fall, elementary schools in Washington will be required to provide at least 30 minutes of recess a day, with breaks encouraged in middle and high schools, and never taking recess away as punishment. Kids are not really meant to just be still all day, right? So they need that for their brains to come out, to move, to have fun. It's so needed. Pediatrician Pooja Tandon says doctors are seeing a youth mental health epidemic. The pandemic triggered learning loss at school, but kids also missed the benefits of recess. It's one of the few times during the day, the school day, um, and maybe even the whole day, given how structured a lot of children's lives are, where they get to choose what they're doing and they get to problem solve with their peers and be creative. That pretending, the creativity, and the problem solving, those are key skills. I to play with my friends when I'm at recess. What kinds of things do you and your friends do out at recess? We just play family stuff, like we go flying together and we just pretend we're flying and stuff. It's all part of the learning happening at school as kids build healthier bodies and minds. Around a dozen states now have recess laws, but Dr. Tandon says Washington's law is among the most thorough. She hopes to conduct follow-up research to see how this law impacts students' mental health, academic achievement, and classroom behavior. Como will continue our series on helping kids in crisis with new stories right here on Como News at 6 p.m. twice per month. To see our previous stories, just scan the QR code on your screen. That'll take you right to the Helping Kids in Crisis portion of our website. Yeah.